fall with the glass, but the rock did. So Tennis Ball and Heavy Boy over here are in a competition to see whose velocity is bigger. So I want you to measure the velocity of the both objects right before they hit the ground, and I want you to see which one was the winner. want you to find who won, tennis ball or heavy boy? VIT plus half AT squared. Now VIT goes to zero and that's equal to zero plus half AT squared. So uh, after we do the mathy math and do the mathy math, then we get minus 2 equals minus 4.9t squared, which means t is just 0 0.64. That's, n that's not a lot of time. Alright, so now, Ben is tall. Ben isn't very tall, obviously, but... What is the velocity of the ball? Not tall, but ball. We want to know. All right, so VF is VI plus AT. So now VI goes to zero, making this look more like a common equation in physics. V equals AT. And now the thing is, since we're falling down, 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 that means acceleration is 9.81. Minus, minus, minus. Of course, there's no such thing in negative time. And t is 0.64. What? After you do the mathy math and the hacky hack on your computer? Minus 6.26 because we're falling down. I'm going to be using a different method. mg h is potential energy, at least for earthly beings. And half mb squared, k. All right. OK. Ke. All right, so cancel, cancel, g, h equals half v squared. Let's plug in everything. I'm minus 9.8, minus 2, which means the minus cancels out. And then half v squared, half, half. So that means 6.26. So after you do all the math, and you use the calculator on your computer because I know you will instead of actually doing the decimal math by hand. Then you get V equals 6.26 meters per second, which you may notice is actually the exact same thing that was in our first tennis ball. Interesting, right? This is because mass has nothing to do with velocity. So they fell with the same velocity. All right, now that you've done the math, let's change the surface. Not to concrete, but to glass. The measure says two meters, so I think we're good. Those unos. <coughs> so this is actually gonna be quite scary. I'm gonna be dropping this big boy on this glass. God, I think this was two meters. Oh no, three, two, one. The tennis ball or the rock? Why didn't the tennis ball break the glass, but the rock did? So P equals MV. And you know that M is 0.5. And that V is 6.26. Which is, well, let's see. 3 point half 26, 1, 3. All right. So that's 3.13, actually kilogram uh, meters per second. All right. And for the rock, it's really the same thing, but with 10 times, uh, but uh, like 10 times more. Because the mass of the rock is just 10 times the thing. So it's 56.26, 31.3 meters per second. Oh, uh, actually, sorry, sorry. What I meant to say was 
telegram over a second. The rock broke the glass, but the tennis ball didn't. That was because the rock had a much higher momentum. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.